That was always our goal was to combine the dramatic aspects of the story with the extreme sports. The interesting thing is with all these athletes on this very extreme level, there is a there's some sensibilities that sort of move beyond the individual sport, and that is a connection with the earth, uh, a sense of fearlessness, a sense of pushing yourself to ultimate boundaries, and also doing these sports are not team sports. These are not things that people do in a stadium. They don't do it under contract. They do it for their own sensibility and spirituality and for pushing what they feel are their limits. So that type of theme tied in very much to our story. And for us, the the uh, guys who were in the first film, bank robbers who basically robbed banks to surf an endless summer, which was great and extraordinary and fun, uh, we've gone a little bit farther. These guys are doing something a little bit more as eco-warriors, frankly, uh, and also to try to protect the world in which they thrive, the world in which they're inspired by and they try to push their own boundaries. So they become a bit of Robin Hoods in that way toward it, which is a sort of broader scale than what we had before, and that ties in the extreme sports and extreme locations and the environmental ethos of it with our story. How does one cast a film in which the actors need to, to be so you know, uh, have so many qualities if you want of physical. Well, for me as a director, the most important thing for, for an actor was to be an extraordinary actor, which we were blessed with. Uh, Edgar Ramirez, wonderful actor. Luke Bracey, absolutely extraordinary. Teresa Palmer, uh, Ray Winston, all these amazing actors. And we got a very international cast, which was wonderful. We don't really have an American actor in the movie, except the boy, who Judah, who plays uh, Luke as a young, uh, Utah as a young child. So the main thing for me was to get great performances and actors so the ethos of the story and the drama could be there. Uh, all the actors being as good as they are and as great a craft people as they are are also uh, very down to do almost anything and are very brave, both as actors and also as athletes, and they're all incredibly athletic. So they push themselves to the boundary. But the truth is, for the sports in which we're presenting, because we're not using CG characters to do it or stunt people, we had to go to the best athletes in the world who are the only people capable of doing the things that we were able to film. So, so what's your favorite sport? And if you do any extreme sport? Um, I grew up as a, as a rock climber and sort of outdoor enthusiast in the mountains. So I'm much more of a mountain person than a water person. I spent a lot of time on the water on this as well with the surfing. Uh, for me, what was great, even though I'm more of a mountain person, I'm very comfortable as a bit of a mountain goat in the mountains with the camera, running around and being comfortable with it. The same uh, ethos and the same ideas apply to the water work and everything that we did in the jungles and everywhere else around the world. So just being in the outdoors on this was extraordinary, and we hope to present that to an audience as well. Thank you.